Hi there, I'm Cole Bolton from NebTrade. Welcome to our fourth video in the introduction to Iris Viewpoint video series. This series is designed to help you become more confident with placing an order using NebTrade Iris Viewpoint. In video three, we covered the viewpoint capabilities for when the market is open and trading, and which widgets you can utilize to assist your monitoring and analysis activities prior to placing any orders. And in this video, we consider the widgets which can be utilized for placing orders as well as keeping track of your orders and trades as they occur. Whether you have a single account or multiple accounts, the setup capability of Viewpoint for your orders caters for all situations to ensure you are on top of your trading activities. Today, we'll look at the trading widget within Viewpoint that you can utilize. Let's get started. The main order window. This is a fixed order entry widget on the right hand side of Viewpoint. When you select either buy or sell from any widget, this order entry automatically scrolls out. This order entry provides all of the different order types, such as market, limit, or placement of a conditional order. Conditional orders relate to placing stop losses or profit targets, which we're not covering in this video. Placing orders is simply a case of filling in the required fields, starting with the account that you are trading on. Then selecting the buy or sell, the volume, order type, and limit price. To the left, you see the details of the order, and by selecting the button at the bottom of the screen, you can go ahead and place the buy or sell order to market. Order ticket. It is a simplified order entry widget and is very common for traders who place multiple orders on multiple stocks ahead of the market. You can then do this by enabling multiple order widgets on a screen so that when the time is right, you place the order direct to market. Quick Trade. As the name suggests, this is a widget that you can use for speed to markets with minimal inputs for placing the order. Placing in a volume quantity and selecting the buy or sell button enables you to place a market order without any delays. Once the order has been placed, you can see where you are in the queue by the market depth widget. And you can then amend the order as required. Order pad. Managing your orders that are in the market, seeing what has traded, and what remains outstanding across all of your accounts is a key feature of this widget. Firstly, selecting all of your accounts to be viewed in the time frame, you can group orders for easier management. Monitoring the orders that have transacted fully or partially, or those yet to be filled, is crucial for those with several orders in the market. Also, any conditional orders that you have can also be viewed by selecting the Contingency tab. This widget also enables inline actions to amend or cancel your orders. This is the main order management view for you to keep on top of your trading activities. The Trades Widget. The Trades Widget is a great accompaniment to the order pad, and I suggest active traders layer the Trades Widget over the top. This widget allows you to go back and view your trades from the past few days. Once an order is executed, you can then use this widget to view the trades from a few days ago. I hope you're now comfortable with the various widgets to assist you with placing orders and setting up multiple orders ready to be executed. You should also now be able to monitor the status of your orders, how to amend them, and finally review recent trades from previous days. For more information on NabTrade Iris Viewpoint, visit nabtrade.com.au forward slash viewpoint. 